It was just starting to snow when Lisa and her mother got off the bus in front of the theater. Lisa held Cordery tight as they walked up the steps. She had never been to a big theater like this before. Neither had Cordery. They had come to see a performance of Mother Goose Runs. In the lobby, people were picking up tickets. Ushers handed out programs. A, ba- a brass chandelier hung from the ceiling that was painted with clouds. Suddenly, the lights flickered on and off. That means the play will start in a few minutes. We should find our seats, said Lisa's mother. Lisa held her mother's hand in a little tighter. A little tighter held Crogery a little closer. The usher took their tickets and showed them where to sit. The seats are soft, said Lisa. She put Crogery on her lap and looked through the program. Right before the play started, a very tall man sat down in front of Lisa. Mommy whispered her to her mother, I can't see. Here, dear, said her mother, we can hold our coats together and you sit on top of them. When Lisa stood up to sit on her coats, the orchestra started to play. She forgot all about Cordery. She slipped off her lap and fell underneath the seats in front of them. Now I can't see anything, said Cordery. Maybe if I got closer to the music, I could see the stage. He peeked down the aisle and saw some stairs. When Cordery got to the top step, the big red curtain went up and up and up. Cordery was so startled that he lost his balance and tumbled into the orchestra pit. He looked around at all the musicians and thought, This is a good spot to hear the music, but now I cannot see the stage at all. At the back of the orchestra, there was a tall set of drums. Maybe if I sat there, I I would have a better view, he thought. Quietly, he crawled through the orchestra, past feet, between instrument cases and around music stands towards the drums. How did you get here, little fellow? The drummer whispered to Cordery, You must be a prop from the play. Someone will be looking for you. He put Cordery on the ledge behind the drums. There was a chair off to one side behind the curtains. I could see better from here, but... Cordery, but before he got to the chair, a stage hand tripped on him. Sorry, Bear, said the stage hand. He put Cordery on the table with the other props. The, the table was so hard, not like Lisa's soft seat in the theater. Backstage was very busy. Actors were coming and going, changing costumes and getting their props. One actor almost dropped Cordery. I should find a safer spot, he decided, and hid behind the costumes. This is safe, he thought, but I'll never see anything from here. There was a tree with a basket in its branches in the swing, off to one side of the stage. I'll be able to see from there, Cordery thought. He climbed up the tree into the basket. Well, thought Cordery, this is more like it. Not too high, not too low, this is just right. He settled in and watched the Mother Drew's performance. I love the theatre, said Cordery. After a number of dif- different scenes, the stage manager called out. Final scene, everyone, take your places. Stage hands quickly moved new scenery onto the stage while the actors went to stand in position. Suddenly, Cordery's tree began moving right onto the stage. When it started to grow, up, up, up went the tree, the bastard and Cordery. 
This is a very tall tree, said Cordery, as she looked down at the stage far below. The tall tree made him think of the tall man who sat in front of Lisa. Cordery wondered, how would I get back to the to Lisa if I'm up in this tree? On the stage below, Mother Drew started to sing, Rock a bye baby on the treetop, when the wind blows the can the cradle will rock. Off stage, a fan blew air into the branches of the tree. The cradle began to rock back and forth, up and down, back and forth, up and down. Cordery was getting dizzy. He held on to the sides of the cradle as it rocked faster and faster. Mother Drew's, Mother Drew's kept singing when the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And crack, the bow did break, and down would come baby cradle and all. Down, down, down came Cordery, cradle and all. Before Cordery knew what was happening, Mother Drew scooped him up for the threatened call. The audience clapped as the actors bowed. Cordery bowed too. After the curtain call, the cast took Cordery backstage to the dressing room. Who does this bear belong to? They wondered. The usher brought Lisa backstage. Cordery, there you are, said Lisa. How do you get on stage? I couldn't see and I wanted to get... And I wanted to get a little closer, said Cordery. Oh, Cordery, said Lisa. You suddenly got closer. The very next day, Lisa made a little theatre just for Cordery. He could see everything from a nice safe spot. 